Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before I dive into this lesson, I'd like to give our honor and our glory and our praise is due to the Heavenly Father. And that's why we got the Son in the name of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Wapakadash. Double honor to the great minister and other apostle, we teach real well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect that scattered abroad across the four winds of this planet that's doing all things as soldiers of Mashiach, Yahweh Shai, and the Holy Shalom to the Seraph Wathium, that's out there resting their husbands, being a pillar of rest, keep doing so, okay? So, the title of the lesson, as you can see, Idols Will Not Save You, okay? So, this is not uh, directed towards any brother or sister, but, you know, this is, you know, well, this is, you know, like a warning message from, you know, the Lord, you know, through these precepts, you know, because, hey, if you are still worshiping idols within the truth, man, then the Lord is not dealing with you, and this is a warning to those that still worship other idols and make their make uh graven images their gods or what or whatnot and make man their gods or whatnot and stuff like that. Okay, because that's that's one of the primary reasons why Israel fell off and stuff because of um because of um idolatry. You know, that was one of the biggest reasons why Israel fell off and stuff like that. But um as as you can see, this lesson is basically to be edifying and just to put the message out there through the spirit of the power, through the spirit of Yahweh Shemi Ashad, that idols will not save you, okay? Because even Paul quoted the best, flee from idolatry, man. Because, hey, being, uh, worshiping these idols, man, it ain't going to get you nowhere, okay? It's going to lead you to death, okay? So, <clears throat> we're going to start it off with the uh, first precept on the list. Go to the book of Ezekiel. Chapter 7, verse 19. Okay. Lord will this lesson be edifying to those that may be watching. This is Ezekiel chapter 7, seven verse 19. And it says, <clears throat> They shall cast their silver in the streets, and their gold shall be removed. Their silver shall their silver and their gold shall not be able to deliver them in the day of wrath of the Lord, and they shall not satisfy their souls, neither fill their bowels, because it is the stumbling block of their iniquity, right? So the Lord basically saying right here, like, hey, your your gold or your silver, the things that you worship and idolize, hey, this is not going to save you in the day of wrath, okay? Because hey, only thing that's gonna come towards you is destruction, okay? Because those that worship money, you know, or mammon, you know, the guy the money and stuff like that, hey. Rich is not going to be able to save you in the day of wrath, man, okay? What's going to save you? Doing what the Lord asks you to do, having faith, and doing uh, and keeping the commandments to the best of your ability, okay? Not worshiping other idols or worshiping other gods, okay? It's not going to save you. And it's the biggest, that, that's one of the commandments that the Lord gave us. Thou shall not, uh, thou shall not make graven images, you know, you know? Thou shalt not have no other gods before me, you know? Because if you do that, that's when you start idolizing these other gods, okay? So, <clears throat> and it says, uh, and it says, as for the beauty of his ornament, he has set in his set in it in majesty, but they made the images, images of their abomination and their detestable things therein. Therefore have I set far set set it far from them, and I will give it into the hands of the strangers for prey, and to the wicked of the earth for a spoil, and they shall pollute it. Right, so hey having these idols set up as your guides, man, hey, it's not going to save you, man. This is going to lead you to your demise, your destruction, okay? And this is why, hey, if you making idols out of anything, man. You, you worshiping it day in and day out more than your uh, creator, man, then, hey, what you think is going to come to you? Nothing but the utter destruction, okay? All right. Now let's get the second precept. Psalms 135, verse 15. Psalms 135, verse 15. Through 18. And the reason it says, <clears throat> I'll start at verse 13. And it says, 
Thy name, O Lord, endured forever, and thy memorial, O Lord, throughout all generations. For the Lord would judge his people, and he would repent himself concerning his servants. The idols of the heathen are silver and gold, and the work of man's hands. They have mouths, but they speak not. Eyes have they, but they see not. They have ears, but they hear not. Neither is there any breath in their mouths. They that make them are like unto them. So is everyone that trusted in them. Right. So they have, they, hey, how these, how they make these idols, man. Hey, that's like him. They might have eyes, but they see not. They might have noses, but they uh, smell not. They might have feet, but they walk not. You know, they might have ears, but they hear not. Okay. Because when you make prayer unto them, ain't nothing happening, you know. But don't get me wrong, are there spirits on these idols? Yes, wicked spirits, you know, demonic spirits, you know, because they, they these uh these these statues, you know, they give off a demonic um presence or vibration, okay? And that's why certain people flip out like the way they do, you know, because that's the, the spirits getting on them, okay? All right. But at the end of the day, they don't, these are not the true these are not the God. These are not the guys that you should be following. Okay, there is only one true, heaven, true power, and that true power is Yahweh. Okay, that true power is Yahweh. Okay, and His only begotten Son, Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua. Okay, Yahweh by Yahushua. Okay, they are omnipotent beings. Okay, because at the end of the day, this event that's going to take place. You know, in the near future, you know, when Yahweh Shah makes his return is to exalt Yahweh's name. Okay? That's all the Lord is doing, you know, with his son. He's exalting his name through his son. Okay? But for those that's uh worshiping these other idols, then hey, <laughs> hey, you ain't gonna make it too far, man. You gonna get put to death out here for idolizing these other gods. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and get the book of Exodus on the law, chapter 20, verse 1 through 8. And the reason it says, <clears throat> And God spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt not, this was one of the first commandments, thou shalt not, thou shalt not have no other gods before me. Right. So what what does why did the Lord say this? Because your heart's gonna go astray and you're gonna start uh trusting in these idols and your idols ain't gonna be able to save you in the day of wrath or the day of destruction. Okay. Alright. And plus you idolize them, okay? You gotta worship your creator, okay? Alright, verse four, and it says, Thou shalt not make it unto thee any engraven images. Or any likeness of anything that is thing that is Salaki. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven images or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. Right, so you ain't supposed to be making graven images of things that uh the Lord created. You know, like that's like making a graven image of some bread. You know, and worshiping bread because it 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 it, feed, it, it feed, uh fills your belly. Okay, that's nonsense, man. You know because that's the problem with Jake. Jake would worship in every uh would worship other things rather than the Creator. Okay, creating golden calves. Okay, idolizing golden calves. Okay, because when Moses went up to Mount Sinai. Or whatnot, it came back down. Here, Israel were dancing around a golden calf. Okay, that's how quick our people are to go do some folly. Okay, verse 5 and it says, Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. Right, so you should not bow yourself down or um, or serve them, man. Read the account with uh, Meshach, Abednego. The three holy children, okay, they kept the commandment, man. Did they bow down to that graven image? No. And what happened? Hey, Nebuchadnezzar, he got pissed, and he was like, uh-uh. 
I'm throwing y'all in the furnace. Okay? But guess what? It's just for them doing that, having faith in y'all, but I said, the Lord delivered them. Okay? Because there's only one true God. Okay? Because the scriptures do say there are Lord's many and there are God's many, but there's only one true heavenly father, one true heavenly power. Okay? And that's Yahweh. Okay? But if you want to sit up here and idolize these other guys, you know, such as uh, 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 Allah, you know, Buddha, Christianity is what I, uh, uh, is another one. Okay, it's it's plenty. It's a plethora of them. Okay, there's only one true living God. Okay, verse four and it's, uh, verse five, Salaki, and it says, "Thou shalt not bow." Down thyself to them, nor serve them, for I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation, them that hate me. Okay? And showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. Thou shalt not take thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. For the Lord would not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. Remember the Sabbath and keep it holy. Okay, so hey, you know, that's it on that. That's one of the, the, the more the commandments right there. You know, and the first commandments, you know, the first couple of commandments are speaking on uh, idolatry, man. Okay. You shouldn't be bowing yourself down. You should not, you know, be serving them. Okay. Because we don't give a damn... Because we don't give a damn what this system push. We still, you know, going to be serving you by Shabbat you know, regardless. Okay? Because when um, this devil come down with the uh, the uh, M to the O to the P, uh, M to the O to the T to the B, you know, to the C to the H to the I to the P, you know, if you got ears to hear and eyes to see, you know, you, you know what brothers be saying when they say that, you know, because the elders be saying that. But when they come down with that, you know, hey, <clears throat> just know that, hey, this devil, man, that, that if you take that, then, hey, you you ultimately serving him, idolizing him, okay? Because you think he is going to be in control and uh, he, he, he's, you think he's going to save you out of all your troubles. No, he's only furthering your demise. He's furthering your destruction. Okay, he's furthering your destruction if you didn't know. Okay, that's why you should not trust your enemy. Okay, but that's another reason why you should flee from idolatry because when that day come and you take that, then hey, that that shows who you serve. Okay, because what you think the Lord gonna do to those that take that? He gonna kill them. Okay, you gonna get burnt up by what? The thermonuclear fire. Okay, so lucky you make sure. Had to make sure what mic was on. So lucky. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> that's it on that. Uh, let's go ahead and get the book of uh, First Corinthians, chapter ten, verse 15, 14, So lucky. But Lord, will this less edifying to those that may be watching? Okay. <clears throat> uh. There we go. And it says, Wherefore, my dearly, my dearly beloved, flee from idolatry. Right. So this is, you know, Paul sending a message out there, man. Flee from idolatry, man. Because this right here will lead you closer to your destruction. Then you least know it. Okay? Because at the end of the day, man, the Lord not dealing with somebody that worship other gods, man. Okay, you calling on multiple guys and stuff. And I guarantee you, you got people in the truth that do that, man. Okay, and those people, they're going to be sought out and the Lord going to seek them out, man. Sift them out. Okay, that's why, hey, being circumspect, paying attention, you know, and doing the things that the Lord asks you. So, hey, the Lord don't give you over to a reprobate spirit, man, because when you get that reprobate spirit, then you start doing all matter of evil, man. Okay, that's why it says flee from idolatry. Okay, don't be making anything into your God. Okay, don't be making your car into your God. Don't be making money into your God. Okay, because at the end of the day, who gave you those things? Yahweh did. Yahweh about Shimei did, man. 
You gotta be thankful for y'all to send y'all shot to wake for waking you up. Okay. You gotta be thankful, okay? If you sit up here idolizing things that don't uh breathe or walk, then it's like, man, what the hell are you doing? You should be giving thanks and all credit to the creator, okay? That give you these things, man. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and give one more precept and I'm signing off. Let's look up uh First Corinthians chapter six and verse uh nine. Here we go. And it says it says, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. Okay? Nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, revilers, extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. Right? So, hey, this is, you know, a point like period. Hey, the Lord said idolatrous not going to make it to the kingdom of heaven, man. Okay? You ain't going to make it. If you up here still idolizing guys, molding images, you know, other guys other than Yahweh Shemi Yashem, then you going totally off, okay? The Lord doesn't deal with somebody that um, worship other guys, man. Okay? Because that's going off, man. And technically the Lord can kill you for that shit, man. Okay, so hey, with that man, Lord, was this lesson edifying? This is just a message to put out there. The spirit is on me to do a lesson on this, you know. So hey, keep that in mind, man. Don't be out here worshiping other guys, making them your idols, because hey, that can lead to your demise, your destruction. So with that, Shalom. I like to give our honor and our glory and our praise due to the Heavenly Father before I sign off. Salakia, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahusha, Ba'ashem, Kadash. Double honest agreements to other apostles, teaching real well. Peace, say, teach to the hopeful elect that's out there scattered abroad. Till next time, to the next video. So, warm, comment, Sharala, by the ball.